Hey everybody, Adrian here with BlendRecommender.com and uh, this video is going to be my first inaugural annual uh, favorite blends uh, countdown of sorts. So these are my, my favorite, um, you know, top blends, both uh, Virginia's, English, across the board. Uh, we got 15 for 2015. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want this to be a really long video, most of these, or at least half of these, I have already done individual videos on, and the ones that I haven't yet, it's pretty good, you know, indication that they are somewhere in line uh, for upcoming videos. So I'm not going to go into too much detail describing the blends, um, but, uh, you know, this video really is just going to be, you know, this is what I reach for most uh, out of the seller, you know, over this last year. This is what... Uh, I seem to enjoy the most, so I'm really curious to see how that changes in the, the next days, uh, you know, months, and, and what this list will look like a year from now. So I certainly enjoy watching uh, other people's, you know, best of or top list, uh, you know, for the year. So here is mine. So we've got 15, and I have split it into two different categories. Blends that contain Latakia, because I don't want to get too hung up on you know, what is an English blend? What is a Scottish blend? And, you know, we could go on and on and on. Um, so blends that contain Latakia and blends that do not contain Latakia. So uh, we will start with blends that do. On the list, Quiet Nights by GL Peace. Wonderful blend, love this stuff. Very, very good. And Frog Morton Across the Pond. And this may be kind of a, a wild card for some people within the, the Frog Morton series. You know, there's five, and uh, I think from the reviews I've read, I think this ends up being, you know, last in line for most folks. Uh, but to me, I really love Orientals. This one has a little bit of that Syrian Latakia that uh, I like so much. If you watch the, the vintage Syrian video, and uh, for me, I think it's perfect. It's a great blend. Speaking of Orientals, McClellan's Grand Oriental series, my favorite is the Drama Reserve. Just a really interesting flavor. I'm definitely going to do a video on this one and go into a little bit more detail here in the very near future. Now the blend I first mentioned on my first video, my introduction video, this is the one that really got uh, my gears turning. Dunhill London Mixture, just a great medium bodied English blend. Uh, that the Orientals are, are very pronounced. It was the first one where I thought, okay, yeah, I definitely need to explore uh, other blends uh, with Orientals. So in the past few months, thank you so much, everybody who gave me recommendations uh, and commented on that. Um, I really appreciate it. I've discovered some great blends based on throwing this out there, and I appreciate it. It's a really good one. Very bold uh, English blend, Artisan's blend, uh, just an excellent, excellent English blend. And uh, surprise, surprise, here's another one that has uh, Syrian Latakia in it. So I guess I've just got a thing for Syrian Latakia. I wish more blends had it available, uh, more blenders had it at their disposal to be able to play around with, uh, but they don't. And in that vein, HH Vintage Syrian, love this stuff so good. If you haven't tried it yet, definitely do. If you if you can't find it, um, you you can't go wrong with McClellan's Three Oak Syrian. Very similar. Um, so I'd be happy with either one. I give this one just a, a, a slight nod. And then my favorite blend so far for this year uh, that contains Latakia, Hearth and Homes Black House. Um, Russ Willett just knocked it out of the park with this tribute. Uh, to uh, Balkan Sobrani 759. McClellan's Balkan Blue or, or Blue Mountain as it was um, is just neck and neck um, with this blend as they were in the 2011 uh, contest, the throwdown at the Chicago uh, Pipe Show. Uh, they were competing to you know most closely match what uh, the Balkan Sobrani 759 mixture had been. And uh, the people's choice was McClellan's uh, Balkan Blue. And, uh, but the, the judges awarded the, the number one prize to Russ Willett's Harp and Home Black House. Delicious. So good. 
All right, so that takes care of all the blends that have uh, Latakia. Moving to the blends that do not. Here are two that I could go with interchangeably. Uh, Scudo and Dunhill's Deluxe Navy Rolls. Um, very, very similar. And if I'm in the mood for this type of, uh, you know, this type of taste, either one will do for me. McClellan's, when McClellan does Virginia so well, um, you know, w whether you like the ketchup smell or not, uh, once you get the pipe lit, uh, the taste is just incredible. They really know how to do some Virginia's. Blackwood's Flight, love that one. One I've done a video on, it's an old uh, perennial uh, favorite, Bell's Three Nuns, timeless, delicious. This one's been around for a while too. A bunch of different variations, just like the Three Nuns, Dunhill, Elizabethan mi uh, mixture. Uh, it's just great, always satisfies. It's got a very pleasant um, taste. You know, it's right in the middle there, just a little bit of Perique, not too much. The Virginias are great in this, and as always, Dunhill has an amazing ribbon cut that just burns down so evenly. Um, just a pleasure to smoke. This one is kind of a new entry for me. It snuck its way uh, into my list here in, at the 11th hour. This is Rattray's Howl of the Wind. I have been smoking this uh, <laughs> every day. It's delicious. Love it. Uh, very good. It's uh, Virginia's have uh, plenty of character, plenty of body, um, but the, the touch of Perique, very similar to Elizabethan mixture for me. Just enough to kind of add almost uh, like a, uh, a baked, um, you know, dessert or treat type um, taste to it. Uh, not, not sweet, not like an aromatic, but just a slight aftertaste. It's really, really pleasant. So definitely recommend Rache's Howl of the Wind. And I think that brings us to, yeah, my favorite blend. Uh, right now, anyway, uh, that does not contain Latakia, McClellan's Red and Black. This stuff is so good. Uh, so I definitely uh, recommend if you're only going to pick up two blends out of, you know, this whole list. If you haven't tried uh, Hearth and Homes Black House or McClellan's Red and Black, you should definitely do that. Uh, go ahead and, and pick these up. Give them a try. I think you'll be very, very pleased with them. So that wraps it up. That is my top 15 for 2015. Hope you enjoy. And uh, if uh, you have any suggestions, if you see any, you know, or that just don't belong on this list, if it's a, you know, an outrage, obviously, you know, it's subjective. Uh, but, you know, I'd certainly like to hear from you what should have made the list, what would have booted out uh, one of these blends. So uh, until next time, enjoy your pipes. Have a great day. I'm back. Uh, for those of you who were counting a little uh, more closely than I was, I just did a top 15 list with 14 blends. So awesome. Uh, I forgot to mention uh, with the blends that do not contain Latakia because I didn't have a 10 sitting here reminding me, Cornell and Deal Bayou Morning. Excellent, excellent blend. All right. So thanks a lot, gang. Have a good one.